Lillian Kirui kutoka Nairobi nchini Kenya. Naam. Kwepo hapa nchini Marekani. Uh, Lillian nini imekuwa ni uzoefu wako wa mara ya kwanza kuwepo hapa nchini Marekani? <laughs> Kiswahili chako kigumu. Uh, like, What has been your experience? Yeah, experience. Okay. America, yeah, America is really different. Everything is different. Kila kitu, kila kitu. The how people live, how people uh, work, how things are done here is totally different from home. But I like it because it keeps people on toes. And I'm weather. Nilikuwa nambia na home. I just want to see the snow. And I'm afraid but it's a nice place to be. Huko, uh, Washington Mona, uh, Baridi na Peruji. Kabisa nimeona baka Black Ice and it's a good place. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, pengine sasa tuzungumzie uh, safari yako hasa. Nini ambacho kilifanya upate nafasi ya kuja Marekani kuimba? Uh, kama nilivyosema awali niko na show inaitwa Family Worship na pia mimi ni mwimbaji huwa naimba peke yangu solo artist na pia niko na kikundi cha msanii music group na angaza singers okay imekuwa mazoea yangu kuimba kwa muda mrefu sana na hii show Family Worship with Lillian Kirui ndio ilikuwa ya kwanza kunileta America kwa sababu I had families who wish me to come and sing with them with their families and also my ministry uh, it has taken me places nimeenda North Africa nimeenda part of Asia so my ministry ndio imenileta America uh, katika hayo maeneo ambayo umetembelea na hapa Marekani tofauti umeiona kwenye nini uh, North Africa ni typical Arabs so it was really hard for me to introduce my songs kuimba of course wana enjoy wimbo lakini hawaelewi hao ni waislamu pia nikiwa dubai nilipata wa kenya mostly walikuwa east africans and west africa tukaimba pamoja it was a good experience pia hapa america nao shida ni kwamba watu wako busy everyone is busy but i'm so glad today here i had a big family worship with the whole church and it's amazing cause a family that prays they stick together and they grow together to God's glory uh, Nilifurahia kwanza walinibukia tiket ya kupitia Las Vegas. I love Las Vegas, yeah. Everyone was like, "Oh, umefika Vegas." Yeah, it was a good thing. The, the welcoming, the hosting, everything was so nice. I just love the I just love the way you people munapokea wageni. Kabla ulianza kuimba, leo ulisema kwamba <laughs> no, unajua kuna venye nikiwa Washington nili, nili, nilialikwa na kanisa ya Anglican kule. So most of them ni wa, wazungu. Pia nimeimba kwa kwa kanisa ya wazungu ni wengi. So coming here seeing like the whole church ni blacks. I was like, "Ah oh, man, I'm home." I was excited. <laughs> ya nyumbani kabisa. I I'm just excited. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, nitarudi. It's it's a tour. Yeah, yeah. Unona niko na na tour more than 10 states. Nilianza na Washington, nimekuja Houston, Texas, ninaenda Maryland, ninaenda New Jersey, nitakuwa North Carolina, nitakuwa Minnesota, nitakuwa Delaware. Okay, I want to visit at most 10. Umezungumzia kwamba maisha yako yamejawa uimbaji kabisa mm -hmm. na kumbe mwahi kuimba kwa kwaya mbalimbali mbalimbali sana kuimba Nairobi alafu kaenda Kisumu unajua social media acha nikwambie social media has really help a lot whatsapp sunaelewa so, whatsapp whatsapp iko wanatuma wimbo tunajifunza then ni moyo wa kujitolea there is something called talent and passion if you have the both thing utafanya anything so for my case it's my passion it's my talent and it's god's calling so anywhere that god wants me to go i'll go yeah. Watu wengi wameanza kuona wakati uh, kikundi cha msanii mm -hmm. anza kuimba. Mhm. 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 Ndio hebu tuambie ilikuwa kwaje mkaanzisha msanii? Msanii ni kikundi ambacho kili, kilianzishwa wakati wa COVID. When everything shut down, nothing was going on, hakukuwa na kanisa, hakukuwa na anything. Just a group of friends, I'm one of them, one of the founder, founding members. Tukakutana kwa studio and we started this group and we were trying to bring 
zilizopendwa that's how we call it back at home the songs that we used to sing while we were young we used to relate to it so well because tulikuwa tunaimba tukiwa kanisani na even tulianzisha and then we got overwhelming support from the social media all over the world and it kept it kept has moving hadi saa hizi tunajulikana dunia nzima Tunangoja mtu mtu alike sisi tuko tayari kwa maana tushaimba pengine milimani utanituma niende popote invite us kwanza Houston nimewaambia watume invitation msanii every msanii members ako na ticket ako na passport tutakuja mm. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm daddy's girl. Okay, babangu wote wote na wapenda sana. Lakini sana sana nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa na relate na babangu sana. Pia mama ya yeah, ni mchungaji. Amekuwa kini guide through my ministry. So everything that I'm doing, I'll always ask my dad about music. Ye unipea idea kuandika nyimbo. So he's always in my mind every time now and then. Mm. Mm. Na umetaja pia kwa mba umekuja na kakako. Ya, yeah, kabisa. Uh, Yeye Ndugu yangu ni Aimbi. Yeye yeye ni producer, ni manager, pia ni manager wangu. Yeye ndio anachukua ana, ana anacover the family worship show. Eh, so he is always with me. We travel together. Ni venye hapa akukua na nafasi ndio nikakuta peke yangu. So mwingine ambao watu wanajiuliza ni kwamba muziki mm. huu wa injili hasa wa Adventista, yani waimbaji wa nyimbo za injili katika kanisa la Adventista wa Sabato. Mm. Mm hasa barani Afrika hmm. na Kenya pia sababu ni huko Afrika hmm. unaona unalipa hmm. Mimi siwezi lalamika kwani nimekuwa nikiishi na ku survive just because of music. Sifanyi kazi nyingine. And I can I can tell you this that I have other business yes but music is the main income source of income nikiwa nyumbani. And I have YouTube. I have a contract with Citizen TV. It's a it's a television national TV in Kenya. I have uh, adverts there and also YouTube. Na pia uh, concert if I am invited I sing on weddings, parties, corporate uh, meetings. So uh muziki inaweza kupeleka everywhere. So the little you get from almost 10, bring it together in any support. Ah, si rahisi kwa maana it took a lot of time. Kwa maana kwamba yeah, muziki ndio uweze kupata hiyo jina. It's like having the brand. Now Lilian Kiru is a brand of its own. Yeah, that's why I can travel everyone people will know this is Lilian Kiru. For me to reach there it took me long time. But one thing I know everything has its own time. Wakati wakati wa Mungu ni wakati wa Mungu. Miongoni mwa vitu ambavyo vina haswa kuzingatiwa hasa kwa waimbaji wa kike si kwa waimbaji wa kike lakini waimbaji wa nyimbo za injili ni nidhamu unafanyaje kutunza nidhamu na hiyo chapa yako kwa maana ya brand to be honest uh, something people forget we are also human beings yes we we tend to fail we we are sinners just saved by grace so mimi i always pray hard cuz i'm not better than anyone lakini maombi ya wazazi na ni mtamu ya kwetu ndio inanisaidia and personal personal principles it's really important in this music because you meet a lot of people different personalities different intention it's you to decide what to do mm -hmm. nafahamu watoto wa wachungaji wachungaji wanasafiri sana mm -hmm. bari Afrika uh, hii ilifanyaje ili kuwa na malezi bora mm -hmm. uh, wakati ukiwa umebaki nyumbani sana sana nilikuwa nasafiri na baba yangu kwanza wakati wa makambi nilikuwa naenda na the whole month tunarudi after one month so na ni, kama si, kama niko nyumbani niko kama siko nyumbani niko shuleni kama siko shuleni niko nyumbani na babangu tumeenda makambi na kadhalika so it was a good upbring Although we tend to fail at times but we have something that reminds us where we come from kama nilivyosema we always remember where we came from mchango wa wazazi wako sasa unautazamaji katika maisha yako wame like everything about Lilian Kirui i count it on my parents and god sana hapa marekani na tayari umeshaimba pengine unaweza kutofautisha vipi uimbaji wa nyumbani Afrika na hapa marekani na uimbaji unaotoka hapa America people are so reserved. People are so reserved. Nyumbani uta, utasema mnaenda pale the church is full. Nini people are tuna people are it's just all over. People are all over you you sing. But pe America iko sawa this state at least nimepata watu wako lively na wako wengi. Yeah, but ah uh, nothing different. Home is home, America is America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mimi oh, lakini sita Afrika. Ah, na miss baba yangu na mama yangu. Chakula, ah chakula yenu si nzuri. <laughs> and then a time difference is still hitting my head. I'm trying to figure it out. Oh. But home is always somewhere you'll always miss. Yeah. Mimi sasa ujumbe wako kwa 
wale ambao wanafuatilia nyimbo zako pamoja na msanii Ah, uh, one thing I want to leave you guys with is that working for God doesn't go in vain. Na lolote unayo tender, fanya to God's glory. Don't mind what people say because people will always talk. Whether you are down, whether you are up, they will always talk. Make sure your heart is pure and is full of love and know what you are, what's your purpose in this world. And don't forget where God brought you from. Always trust God and always do everything to God's glory. Ah, uh, Nenda, Maryland. Next Sabbath, Ntakua, Maryland. After Maryland, Nende, New Jersey for two Sabbaths. Yeah, and then I'll update you guys on my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lilian Kirui. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah.